Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Mafia Roundtable with Dominic Sicali. Today we'll be talking about some different topics on our live. Today is July 28th at 12.15 today, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be going live once again, and we'll be touching base on a few different topics. But before that, let me thank our sponsor, EG Vodka. Go to egvodka.com, order your vodka. We're actually... Uh, Getting ready to launch in 48 states, so you'll be able to order online. We could ship it to you, and uh, you will definitely love the vodka. Um, With that, also, we started a Patreon channel, Jeff Nadu and myself. Um, It's The Life of Dominic Sicali, or Dom Sicali by Jeff Nadu. So stay tuned for that. Sign up. We're coming out, I think, August 1st with our first episode, our first show. So sign up. You'll like it. There'll be special content. Uh, We have a lot of good things coming out on that channel. So uh, Jeff is running with it. He knows the business. He knows what people want. And we're going to give it to you people. So today's topics, we're going to be talking about um, Ciro Perone was with the uh, Genovese crime family at Capo. Touch a little bit about him. Tough Tony as well. I have some really good stories with him, but those stories are going to be light. Uh, let you know about the type of people they were in the mob. Um, they were two very powerful captains around a long time. Uh, we'll also be talking about Patty D. Filippo. Uh, from the Bronx, he was with the Bananos, he was a capo, and I'll be touching a few different points on v- that Vinny was so adamant killing Patty, no matter what, Vin- you know, just Vinny didn't like him at all. So I hope everybody likes the shows today. Then yesterday, um, no excuses with Mikey Scars, he was talking about, um, Myself, Michael Franchese, they would like to sit down with us. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk going around amongst us trying to get together uh, where we have something sociable uh, with us having a few cocktails, maybe uh, a few glasses of wine, some cigars, sit down. And we talk about the mafia and the different eras of the mafia. Because I believe we, that between the three of us, we have a lot of similarities, but different views, so which is good. And we were all from different crime families, in different eras, actually, as well. So I think it would be most interesting uh, just to sit down and see how it goes. And there are people out there, there's a lot of resistance, who don't want to see that happen. But... It's going to happen. It's definitely going to happen. I feel in my heart it'll happen. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But we're going to push to strive to do something good. And I saw also Mikey Scars mentioned about, you know, we're just getting to know each other. He doesn't really know me that well. I don't know him that well. But we've hit it off. And uh, just my sincerity as far as doing things for the kids and women's rights, uh, you know, sexual harassment. Well, with the kids, just so everybody's aware, I did a lot of work in Sierra Leone, Africa, helping kids, doing the right things, donating machines. You know, uh, myself, my friends, we went for a few hundred thousand dollars out there. Uh, Never received the payment from the government, as we were told. So we wound up just sucking it up, made a humanitarian effort which was good. We were giving back. That was, it wasn't our intentions to start with, but it wound up being that. And you know what? I look back and I'm glad I did it. Um, got to see the way the children live, the questions they had to ask. And I have plenty of photos to back what I'm saying. Um, so with that and the sexual harassment, I'm going at it myself. Every once in a while, I'll put it out there a little bit at a time. But we're going to get ready to really dig into the meat and potatoes of the case that I've been talking about, my wife's sexual harassment with Telemundo. And um, you're going to see how egregious it is. It's disgusting. Disgusting what NBC did and how they cover it up. And it's just really egregious. And for a federal judge not to give my wife a day in court, you know, it's an, that's even more egregious. Was it because my wife is Hispanic? 
and this judge is from the South, you know, white female judge from the South, you know, I'll call it the way it is. There's a lot of racism in this day and age. Um, and it's wrong. It's wrong. And it has to stop. It really has to stop. It's not just with African Americans. It's with Hispanics as well. Also, Italians too are discriminated against in a lot of ways. But the majority, I would say, would be African Americans and Hispanics. And it just has to stop. It's disgusting. So, my sincerity is definitely there. The cause is there. I wish I had more people with me going at it. I've offered a lot of people to come on Mafia Roundtable. Let's talk about it. Let's go into it. Some people, I was shocked. I was shocked, and I'm not going to blow them up. But they were like, no, no, that's not for me. Uh, I can't do that. And I'm like, wow, wow. With all the subs you have, all that talk you talk, you don't want to walk the walk? Cool. I'm all right. And I'm not going to blow the person up. To me, it's just disgusting. It's all about them. Me, 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 me. Well, over here, Mafia Roundtable, it's not about me, 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 me. Um, and I just... I'm going to be an advocate. I'll keep on plugging forward. I'm a fighter. So just uh, we'll make a move. We'll make a movement. And Mike did say something. We're really a pimple on a bull's ass out there in social media. But that pimple can grow. Can grow. And it's going to grow. I'll just keep on fighting. Keep on doing what I have to do out there uh, to make it happen. So I um, hope everybody will like the show today. Um, we have a lot of good content coming out. We have the protein powder. I know my website, still the merchandise part of it. The shopping cart's not up. Uh, we're doing a lot of things with the EG Vodka brand. That's why uh, I've been slagging on the other on my website. But we'll get that up. We also have uh, scheduled sometime in August. A medical doctor coming on with some patients for erectile dysfunction, a men's health segment, which will be very interesting, um, and I'm sure everybody will love that. But um, you know, as you get older, you start losing it, and uh, these doctors here today with the technology and everything out there, why lose it? You know, just like women, they're constantly going to get their hair done, their nails done. They want to look good for their man. Same thing with the guys. You know, they want to be able to perform as if they were younger. So we have a lot of products. And it is embarrassing to a lot of men. But, you know, it's just a fact of life. But we do everything very discreetly. We have a telemed platform. Uh, we'll have the link to the website where you go on Mafia Roundtable. You hit the link. It'll direct you right to the doctor, to the website. And then you'll have your consult. So we're in the process of getting that up. That's maybe about 30 days out. So we have a lot of good things coming out from Mafia Roundtable. We have a lot on our Patreon channel. We're going to have tapes, 302s. We have information that was never released before. Nobody has ever released this information. So we're going to be going diving deep into the Bonanno crime family into my life as a kid growing up, all the adversities I went through uh, growing up as a only child in my family, single parent, my mother, my grandparents. So I'm going to dive in deep with that. This way the viewers, because there's a lot of viewers want to know about me and we're doing it in chronological order. Jeff put an amazing show together, format. Uh, I got to give him kudos with that. But go to Patreon, sign up. Uh, over here, please just hit subscribe. We'll be coming out with more content. Get the subscribe base up, and it just helps. So with that, everybody, stay tuned for today. Today's July 28th at 12, 15, 12 to 12.15. 12 We're coming at you live. Mafia Roundtable, we're going to talk about the Genovese crime family, Bonanno crime family, and any other crime family that pops into my head. So stay tuned. Hope everybody enjoys the show. Peace out. Everybody have a good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Much love until later today.